Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see today I have new hair and my husband cut this for me actually and they're a very good story out of this and I'm, I do want to share this story with you because I think it will give you some lessons and some insights here but we'll save it for the, for the next weekly love letter. For this weekly love letter we actually gonna talk about breakup and the title is uh, don't get into a new relationship until you do this so what is this well we're gonna check it out very soon here so let's get started we see many people after a breakup they head to another relationship right away and to no surprise that next relationship doesn't last very long we see them jump from one relationship to another and wonder if they are ever able to be single. If you want to maximize the chance of the next relationship last for a long time, not to mention for a lifetime, then you definitely need to do what I'm about to share here in this weekly letter. It is reflection. What does reflection mean here? It means to think, to ponder about the past, and not just the recent relationship, but all the relationships before the recent one. Was the way the recent relationship ended the same way as your first relationship? Was the reason you or your ex ended the relationship the same as the reason you or your first ex ended the relationship back then? Did you make the same mistake in the recent one like you did in your first relationship? If all your answers are I'm not sure or yes, then definitely you don't want to get into the next relationship just yet. Clearly, there's room for reflection and improvement here on your part before we commit to another person. Without time for reflection and especially to heal from the pain of the breakup, most likely the next relationship is only good enough in the beginning and it will not be good enough later for you to stay or the next partner to stay. Often we run to the next relationship out of the need for love and connection. In the previous video, I mentioned about the need for, var for variety when we feel bored in the relationship. For this weekly love letter, we focus on the need for love and connection. When we end a relationship, we experience a sense of loss, loss of connection loss of love and as human beings we are wired to seek love and companionship after the breakup many people are driven by the need for love which leads them to look for whoever is available to give them the sense of companionship love and connection i mentioned the sense here because it's not necessarily the real love we don't fall out and fall in of love that quick and easy. It always takes time to be emotionally naked with someone, to show them our vulnerability, and to trust someone. If it is quick and easy for you to fall in love with a new person, you know that there is something not right here. Very likely, you mistake attention as love, Someone can give you their attention, but it doesn't mean that they love you romantically. That's why it's important to pause from seeking romantic love right after a breakup. Instead, seek love and support from your inner circle, your friends, your family members. This is not the ideal time for romantic love, though it does feel very good if you have someone to replace your ex at the moment. We see people who have long relationship history with five or six partners and still on the road to find the right one. And we see people after one or two failed relationships, they are able to find the right one for them. The difference between these two people is reflection. 
The second one takes the time to pause and reflect, to learn, to take responsibility of their unsuccessful relationships in the past, to maximize their success in the next relationship. The first one, however, keeps admitting, failing, and repeating their own mistakes. Even though it is so obvious for you that your ex is the reason of the breakup, the truth is that the two partners are always responsible for the ending of a relationship. And the more responsibility you can take for your part, the more powerful and in control you are in your love life. Because if we were wrong, we then can change and learn from our mistakes. However, if there was no mistake on your part in the recent breakup and other three previous breakups, how hopeless and powerless you would feel about dating and relationships. You're likely to think that the next relationship is going to be the same as you will never find or trust anyone as whenever the relationship ends, it's always the other person's fault. So the lesson for this weekly love letter is to learn from the past and take complete responsibility for what happened. Otherwise, you will create the same failing relationship with different people, different partners. Good ending makes good beginning. So don't start a new beginning with anyone until you make the ending good by investing the time to reflect on the past. What has your ex brought into your life besides the hurt you are experiencing? The truth is, your ex also teaches you many lessons and helps you be prepared to meet the right partner in the future. So that's it for this weekly love letter. I hope you enjoy listening and watching this video so far. If you have any questions, any comments, any requests, then please feel free to let me know in the comment below. Thank you for your attention and I hope you have a great day, a great week, and we'll see you next week with the next weekly love letter that is going to be about the story of my husband cutting my hair. Okay, that's it for today for this week. Take care and bye-bye guys.